Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. This is like the seventh or eighth episode in the last week or so. We've had so much news in the scene right now. And now, honestly, I can tell you guys, we do not know much in terms of roster changes. And that is why all of today's roster change news will be at the back half of the video because I can't even pre record that stuff unless, because, you know, everything's been changing so fast. So I'll talk about that, guys, in the later half of today's episode. But I do know one thing for sure. I'll give you guys the 100% stuff we do know as of right now. And that is Phantom Lord has been busy striking down other YouTubers and some big ones, big names in the scene that we do know, the first of which was Richard Lewis a couple days ago. He took down his video all about Phantom Lord. I can tell you guys after watching that entire Richard Lewis video, I will link it down below, but it's been taken down. After watching that, he actually used about less than 60 seconds of actual clips from a stream a Phantom Lord did a long time ago, and the clip he did use actually was a Phantom Lord clip of him on CSGO Shuffle winning a jackpot. You guys remember back when jackpot was a huge thing, and they had the arrow roll the wheel, and it landed on a different guy, some other guy out there, and then it rolled back backwards onto Phantom Lord. So that was the one clip he used. It was kind of, you know, a really funny clip because it obviously kind of victimized uh, Mr. Phantom Lord for obviously, you know, rigging those bets and winning that pot when he shouldn't have. It was a really funny clip. He actually first struck Richard Lewis and then he actually removed Mo TV's statement video on him as well. I'll show you guys screenshots of that. So Phantom Lord's uh, YouTube network broadband has been striking down these videos. Luckily, I've actually used a short clip of Phantom Lord in my past videos, like 15 seconds. My video was not struck down, but he actually struck Mo TV. And again, I'm not really sure how I feel about Mo TV going out against Phantom Lord and talking trash about him when they're kind of in the same boat there. Obviously, what Mo did was to a far less extent. I'll leave that for a different video though. But yes, Phantom Lord has been active, guys, and his YouTube network is striking down videos as we speak. Now, also something we do know update for all of you Freakazoid fans out there Freakazoid's plans for future CSGO teams will not involve Hiko's team. Hiko's full team rogue has pretty much 100% been certified. It'll actually include a Bulgarian player known as Cirque as their fit member and opera that's almost been. I can actually tell you guys it's been 100% confirmed, not only by Slingshot Esports, but also my inside contact as well. That will be their fifth member. So it kind of goes to show you, Hiko's new five-man lineup is very, very anti-climatic, very underwhelming there. Not expecting too much out of them, but Freakazoid will not be a part of it because Freakazoid also came out and said he's going to be taking a long-term break just to grind on CSGO. Don't expect him to join a team until at least September. Here's what he had to say about that. Probably going to announce the team I'm going to join oh during, uh, like I said, Right now, I'm not trying to join a team. I'm just grinding. I have vacations in August, so I don't want to join a team when I have vacations planned. September, hopefully, and then October. But I know it's going to take me a little bit. To and on the other side of things, what I did not touch on yesterday's video, which was actually mentioned and rumored a lot yesterday, was Phase Guardian. When I first mentioned this a couple of days ago in my Discord chat, it was kind of a joke, and now it seems almost more certain than it was before, as Phase Guardian could be a possible thing. We have 100% confirmed pretty much that Guardian will be leaving Navi alongside Seized. That's heavily expected. Who's going to replace them on Navi's lineup? We have no idea. As of right now, it could be Angel or Psycho, both from Team Hellraisers, you know, to try and IGL over there. Angel, the more likely option, I believe. Also, Electronic from Flipside. And, I, and we had other rumors say, saying that Flipside would disband as well. Flipside, they responded with this, which, I mean, it, it makes a typical statement. Obviously, a team's not going to come out and admit that they will be disbanding. But if Flipside ever did disband, guys, especially based off this one rumor that Launders did put out there, it would be incredibly disappointing to see that a team who has made eight straight majors is going to disband because they lose maybe one player in Electronic going to Navi. So Navi's new roster, we really have no clue out there. A bunch of speculation as of right now, but Phase Guardian could be a thing after Zeus's very own manager. I talked about this. You guys know the Pro 100 organization. President of that is Zeus on Gambit Gaming, and one of his friends actually on screen for all of you has been leaking a bunch of stuff. He actually leaked this tweet a long time ago. You guys remember that uh, about the, the big yellow giant and the, and the little Hellboy, whatever that reference was to Angel from Hellraisers joining, joining Navi, but this could actually lead to, he actually had another tweet like this on screen. The yellow logo now becomes the multicolored one, and that is an obvious target at this phase logo. Logo. One of their newer logo, I think actually was last year they came out with this newer logo. It's one of the few logos out there that actually includes three colors. It's obviously multicolored, and so that's what led every, everyone to actually speculate that Guardian could be going to phase. And of course, when he goes there, he'd be replacing Alu. Uh, Keo also on that chopping block, but it seems Alu is more more the uh, the optimal choice there. So would we see a phase Guardian? Uh, apparently, Slingshot Esports does believe so. I'm not going to confirm anything right now, but that definitely is a rumor on the board as well. On top of that, if you have to include Phase Clan, you got to include Optic Gaming, guys. 
and it's it's really messing with my head because now we have Nafly and Tarek tweeting out things like this. Nafly actually had the little the Cookie Monster doing the little thing with his hands, and if you go to uh, if you go to Tarek's Twitter, he had that, and he said the storm is near. So I, I just don't I don't even want to talk about this anymore. There's so many things that are unconfirmed. It's not even newsworthy. So let's move on from that, guys. Those are all speculation. Leave a comment down below what your favorite speculation or favorite rumor is going on right now. I have to say my personal favorite is Phase Guardian. I can't imagine how much a Phase Guardian sticker would go for, and he is a talent out there. I really did not expect Phase Clan to still have the money to buy these guys. I mean, seriously, that team is loaded. And very lastly, in today's episode of CSK News, and I do want to apologize to all of you. As of right now, we really just don't know anything. There's so many speculations out there. So many players tweeting out different things that are really kind of throwing into this this gist of things. And first off, I do want to say that another rumor is that potentially we're going to have Styko from Hellraisers and Sunny from Penta join Mouse Sports, and the Mouse Sports lineup would then be Oscar alongside Chris J and Rops, and then Styko and Sunny. There's also rumors though that maybe Optic Mixwell would go to Mouse Sports and replace Chris J. Now, apart from that, I'm going to stop with the rumors, guys, and finish off today's episode with this. FNX has apparently already been traded. We actually have a person very high up in Mortals who responded to a tweet and said that FNX has already been negotiated and he's already been traded to another team and sold out. So we're going to find out sometime soon who that team is. I swear, I, I'm, I think it's very unlikely, but if that team is actually Luminosity Gaming, that is going to be a powerful lineup. Now on top of that, I'm going to leave you guys with one last clip in today's episode, but first I'll do my outro and I'll leave you guys with one last video clip from Dazed and you guys can tell me in the comment section whether you think it's a troll or not. It does involve, involve Mo and I'm really, really curious to see if it's actually a troll or not, if Mo has the money to actually invest in these guys guys and we'll see where this goes in the future hope you guys all enjoyed i will see you either tomorrow or sunday i might wait out another day and actually wait till we have confirmations on this because i hate making videos where half the half the stories are all rumors so i might wait a couple days hope you guys all enjoyed thank you all for the great feedback please leave a comment down below i'm free all day today and i promise i'll reply to as many comments as possible so live love laugh a lot my name is jake my right like you it's way too early to yell i'll bring back yelling outros next time remember i like you and uh Here's the final clip. And we started looking at two other players. Let's just say I might have a verbal agreement with one of the best operas in North America. Low TV.